This video shows the oil pan removal on a, a 1999 to 2007 era GM engine with a 4.8, 5.3, or 6.0 engine. Uh, to get at it, to replace the gasket, you take off the tires and remove the um, tie rod end links from the steering knuckle and then you'll remove the whole relay rod by disconnecting it from the idler and pitman arms. This is going to allow us to take out the front differential which will need to be done in order to take off the oil pan. Kind of turn that out of the way and then you take off the inner flanges from these axle shafts to the differential. Also taken off the front drive shaft to the from the transfer case to the front differential. Remove the connector from the actuator and the routing that's connected to the front differential. You'll remove that harness in its entirety or disconnect it from the front differential. Disconnect the front vent line and remove the mounting bolts, um, most of them until you get something to support it. And then you'll remove the front crossbar. And you want to support it with something before removing the last of them. And something will allow you to lower it down. Once that's out, uh, you want to drain the oil out of the oil pan. And then there's an oil level sensor that you can disconnect and then you remove the uh, inspection. Uh, pour it into the transmission there and I'm taking out the starter because I'm actually removing the transmission also to do the rear main sill but you won't see all of that in this video took out the starter and then uh, there's a harness that goes around the oil pan and the clip um, and a support assembly along the front of the pan that holds that route that harness in place another clip over on the passenger side loosening those up allow you to get the starter all the way out There's a couple of bolts that go through the transmission into the oil pan. And now you're seeing a view with the transmission out. And those last two bolts um, are really long ones that go up into that rear cover for the rear main sill. And then it's out with all the oil pan bolts that surround it. Cleaning things up a little here. Panel drop down. There's a few rivets from the factory that hold the oil pan in place. When you put in the new one, you're not required to rivet it into place. And then it's time for cleanup, removing the baffle and the oil pan. Take out the oil level sen sender all the way, or oil level sensor all the way. Clean up the pan, and then I'm using a, a 3M Scotch Brite um, wheel on these surfaces because it 
cleans up gaskets gaskets uh, nicely without damaging the aluminum surface. Getting the pan all prepped, baffle back in, oil filter back on, hit it with a little bit of brake clean, nice and clean surface, poke the oil pan bolts through, and then you pop, apply a little bit of RTV silicone uh, where the front and rear covers made up to the block. And lift the oil pan into place. And then use a crisscross pattern in tightening the oil pan bolts up to get even clamping force on the pan. Back in with the starter, this is a good time to put a new starter in. Oil level sensors and everything's hooked back up. Routing of the harness and clips and whatnot around the pan. Back in with the front differential. Drive shafts, front drive shaft. Front linkages and components, add oil, check it for leaks. Hope you found this video useful. I appreciate you watching and I hope you like and subscribe.